here to do a pick a card reading guys today the question which was suggested by olivia doom so thank you olivia the question today is going to be how do they feel about us not speaking once again the question is how do they feel about us not speaking we will do an extended reading where we'll take a deeper dive into how do they feel about you all not speaking we'll also ask the question do they think that you've moved on uh, we'll ask, are they even trying to come towards you? And then we will get some Oracle messages from my new Oracle deck that I am absolutely in love with that came in yesterday in the middle of the readings that I was doing. Um, also, I do have a new deck that I will be using today. So, uh, new deck alert, new deck alert. Got a new deck on deck. Um, and for all of you all who are asking and inquiring about where I get my decks from and what's the name of this deck and that deck. I do have an Amazon list of all the decks that I've purchased on Amazon down below. So if you'd like to know the name of a deck or what deck I used or whatever the case may be, pretty much every deck that I have purchased on Amazon is linked down below. And that's where I get the majority of my decks. So you can look down below. And for all y'all who out there imitating my sauce and trying to figure out my secret and all this shit, you can imitate all you want. You know, but you can't never get this magic because you ain't never going to be me. So my advice to you is to stand in your power and stop lurking on my page looking for what the fuck I'm doing so you can try to do it on your page. It's not going to work for you, right? Just like what you're doing is not going to work for me. So stand in your power and I'm going to stand in mine. Having said that, I see you looking what you're looking at. So if you're trying to figure out what kind of deck I'm using, you can drop down to the Amazon list too and you can go on and keep on looking what you're looking at. Until you understand you can't take my magic. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah. So that's all down below. As well as all of you all who have inquired about sending me crystals or tarot card decks. My list for that is down below as well. On my birthday list because my birthday is coming up soon, guys. Yeah. And it's going to be fabulous because my last two birthdays have been hell because of my past lover, but we ain't gonna talk about that right now, okay? So, um, yeah, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information for that is down below as well. I have uh, gone on vacation next week, so I do have time available to do readings next week. So if you wanna get in where you fit in, click on the link below and let's go ahead and get you scheduled after you purchase, okay? Um, what else? That might be it. So we have three choices before us. Choice number one is going to be Goddess of Beauty. Love these cards. They're so beautiful. This is the Goddess Edition. Choice number two is going to be Goddess of the Unknown. And choice number three is going to be Goddess of Oneness. So we have Goddess of Beauty, Goddess of the Unknown, and Goddess of Oneness. So keep in mind, this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone, but should it resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate them all. I read every single one of them, every single one of them, and I adore you all. If it doesn't resonate, hey, look, pick another reading. If that doesn't resonate, you got to pick another reader, okay? I can't reach everybody every day, although I do my best to get the bits and pieces that need to get got. You hear me? So take the bits and pieces that resonate and leave everything else on the dance floor and Bobby Brown away from it, you know? Every little step I take, hey, you will be there. Every little step I make. We'll be together. Do that shit away from it, right? If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. What the fuck? I don't know what you want me to tell you. If it don't fit, it don't fit. You just gonna get mad. Then you're gonna drop down in my comments and leave some stupid ass comment about how you wish vengeance would smite down your ex. And then you're gonna catch the smoke. Because that ain't what we do in a Braveheart tribe. That ain't what we do. We are accountable for our actions because we know it takes two to tango. We are honest. And really, the honesty that emanates from the Braveheart tribe is healing. It's so cathartic. 
when you read some of these comments and these, you know, these tribe members are like pouring out their hearts and being honest about the part that they played in it, you, I mean, that's instant healing right there. So someone left a comment yesterday, I think, or the other day, and they said, I dropped down in the comments and I was reading through it and I learned there are so many people going through the same thing that I am. We are never alone. And that's the Brave Heart Tribe. You better get with it or get run over. Because we trail out here. We the dopest tribe on damn YouTube. You better ask about us in these streets. Closely, we are so close to 10,000 members too. So, can't wait for that. But, uh, y'all didn't come here to hear me rant. Well, some of y'all do. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and take our deep breath on three. Uno, dos, tres. Pick your card. Is it going to be the goddess of beauty? Is it going to be the goddess of the unknown? Or is it going to be the goddess of oneness? Remember, there is a new deck in one of these. And it's a trill deck too, man. It really has opened my mind to a lot of different things. So I love it. Only used it yesterday on myself. That's it. All right. So goddess of beauty, goddess of the unknown, goddess of oneness. Let's do it. All right, starting with goddess of beauty. So universe, people who chose the goddess of beauty, how does their person feel about them not speaking? How does their person feel about them not speaking? Whoa, that was quick. First card out, Father Sky. Interesting. First card out, Father Sky. Hmm. How does their person feel about them not speaking? That's interesting. That's a beautiful card. Second card out, Knave of Wands. Knave of Wands. <laughs> I'll point it out later. Knave of Wands. How does that person feel about them not speaking? The devil. The devil card. One more universe. How does that person feel about them not speaking? Five of chalices. Five of chalices. Bottom of the deck. We have. Hoo -hoo. It's so funny. I tried to do this reading a minute ago and I was using another deck for the first deck. And it, it's flimsy card stock. So it was starting to frustrate me. And I just stopped the reading and it was like, this doesn't feel right. But the Queen of Wands came out in that one too. I just want you to know. So bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is that they see you as like just someone who's ever evolving. Let's start here. This Knave of Wands card, I think, is just so beautiful because to me, this looks like a tree and that this person, this woman here, right, is is in the soil beneath the tree going through these transformations of, you know, the moth, of the butterfly, you know, um, and it's various transformations and they're rapid transformations because the lifespan of a butterfly is not that long. Um, so just it's rapid transformation after rapid transformation. So your, your evolution is elevated. It's accelerated. And they take notice of that. You're always in a constant state of flux. And there, there's something about that that they find very intriguing that they look, they, they observe it from on high with this father sky card, you know, they're always taking notice of it. And that's what lingers in their mind about you. They stay in their mind about you, but they do understand that their insecurities got in the way and that their darkness really outweighed their light. And so it really kept, it drove a wedge between you all with this toxicity here. It was like they were celebrating their dark side. And I feel as though you were the light in which they were attempting to follow because see, this looks like a medicine woman to me, right? You know? And so in you, they found or discovered their inner light. They discovered, you know, their 
called to transform their ever evolving soul. But they understood they had to go through this darkness to get to that. But there's some type of bond between you all because in this five of chalices here, we have a beaver, right? And beavers, um, you know, beavers are pretty good at staying together, I believe. They build homes, dams, right? To take care of their young, to take care of their lover. Their lover. Beavers do have lovers. Don't get it twisted. But it just seems like there's some sadness here. Almost like head in the water. One of you all being deeply immersed within your emotions and one of you all not. An imbalance of sorts, but... That imbalance didn't stop you. As a matter of fact, by you all not speaking, I feel like your ever-evolving self and, and that accelerated transformation sped up. Just when you think you couldn't, it did. And I feel like this person is still watching you. Now. I don't feel that they're happy about not speaking with you. I don't... I feel that they miss it. I feel that they miss learning from you. I feel that they miss that protection that you offered them as this medicine woman. I feel that they miss your light. I feel that, you know, you were really um, like the lantern in the light, the light, the, the lantern in the light, the lantern in the dark, the light in the dark for their toxicities, for whatever it is that they were going through with this devil card here. But I do feel now they're not letting you in. They're not allowing you to see it or to know it, but they're obsessed with you in a way, like always wanting to know what you're doing, who you're with, keeping an eye on social media. But there are a lot of ways to kind of stalk you. Um, this person could be driving past your house. This person could be asking, you know, friends about you, family members that they're cool with about you, but just in a very slick, sly way. They're very cunning, very cunning, but I feel like they're coming up for air. Mm -hmm. So yeah, how do they feel about you all not speaking? They're not happy about it, but they see you just thriving without them and I, they ain't happy about it, I tell you that much. Get down on it. <laughs> Get down on it. Shine on, 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 on. Yeah, it's like really with which with this separation that's going on or occurring, it's like they got out of your way and life just took off even faster, even greater, even bigger. Because really you you were dumbing yourself down to be with this person. And I'm not saying that in a negative way, but you were really trying, you, you kept yourself stagnant to pull this person up to the level you were at then, but you realized that you couldn't do that. They had to do that. And so with you all shifting out of each other's way, your life is just kind of taken off. And some of those things that you dropped by the wayside are just like flourishing now. And it was like an instant, instantaneous, like, like somebody just flicked the light on. It was like, whoa. And you picked up where you left off. And because, you know, you dumbed yourself down for so long, it's a lot happening very quickly because it's like a reward from the universe too, paying it forward because you were helping this person, willingly helping this person to see their own light. But this person is really in their head, big time, deep in their head and deep in their emotions. And the two are aligning at this point. Mm -hmm. They're coming up for air. Trying to make sense out of it. But right now they're obsessed. They're just overwhelmed with their mind, the thoughts that are going on in their mind and overwhelmed with these emotions that are fueling that mind activity. And look at you. Do 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 do. Do do do. I believe the children of our future. You just chilling. Do 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 do. And they all like, whoa, huh? Good God, y'all. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. 
they they on some humbug shit. They wilding right now. Like they can't make sense of what's happening and they just need to breathe. And they're they're really fighting against what they know they should be doing. Their pride is in the way right now. Their pride and their ego is in the way from reaching out to you because they're sad. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's what I have for you. So, how do they feel about not speaking to you? They are not happy about it at all. And they're trying to figure out why you just look good. And they don't feel good. So, we'll take a deeper dive into this. We'll also ask, do they think that you've moved on? Are they even trying to come towards you? And we'll get some Oracle messages on this, all right? So if you want to join me, the link is down below. If not, you ain't got to. You ain't got to. But I appreciate you being with me thus far. Let's move on. Universe, people who chose the goddess of the unknown. One of my favorite cards in this deck. So effing beautiful. Beautiful. I just want you to know. All right, so universe, how does that person feel about them not speaking? How does that person feel about them not speaking? King of staffs. How does that person feel about them not speaking? One card at a time, universe. How does that person feel about them not speaking? How does that person feel about them not speaking? Awakening. Universe, people who chose the goddess of the unknown, how does that person feel about them not speaking? Magic. It's magic, you know. Whoa. <laughs> Two of Cups. <laughs> I can't breathe, baby. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. I can't think, baby. Or we could even say, we belong together. Who else am I going to know when times get rough? Who else am I going to dun 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 Because we belong together. I can't sleep. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. Y'all be bringing some funny ass stories to me, man. Straight up. Okay, this person, <laughs> I can't stop laughing at it. Oh, they feel like they just walked out of the heaven, jagged face ass, jagged edge face ass. Can I get a head ass? <laughs> yeah, man, this person feels like they just walked out of, the, walked out of heaven, right on out of it. They feel like they just lost. Ain't no punchline of that shit. They just feel like they lost, man. They didn't lost the eye. They didn't lost the leaves on the tree. I mean, come on. They didn't lost the sun. Because the sun setting on their ass. Yeah. They just feel like they lost. He looked like his arm should be in a sling. So he might have lost his sling, too. But they feel lost without you. Lost without you. And it's like the tables have turned. The tables have turned. And I feel like one of you is doing magic though. And it could very well be you. And if you are, be, be aware of what you're doing. And be aware of what you're asking for. Because... Whoever's doing magic, they're doing magic behind the back, but they're they're doing it in a in a not so good way because it's coming across as getting this king of staffs to come towards you, but then acting like the queen of cups. Like see how her back is kind of to him? Ain't kind of, it is. Her back is to him and it's like there are a lot of different ways to do magic. So don't get it twisted. You ain't got to be sitting up over a cauldron, you know, bubbles and fire. And you ain't got to be doing shit like that. Like you can, you can cast spells and rituals just by speaking out some shit. And so like, if you are, you know, angry, deal with the anger. 
if you're hurt, deal with the pain. Because I do see there is pain here. And this person is aware that they've knocked their own cup over. You know, and this is after the storm, this two of cups. So they're aware of the storm that you all were in. They're aware of the part that they played. But you need to be aware of yours too. Because remember, this is the Braveheart trap with two to tango. You didn't just go up in this and be, you know, Queen Mary and everything was great. And so... I feel like somebody is pulling somebody to them, but just to fuck with them. Like, they need to apologize to me 1,522 times. And until then, I'm just going to keep acting like I don't want them. I don't. Because the Queen of Cups, she usually has her hand or a lid on her cup. So there's a lot of emotion here, but it's not readily expressed. Right? So just be aware of that because... You can create some karma that can travel with you to the next vessel of love. That's why I be telling people, stop wishing all that shit on people because all it is, is gonna, it's going to come back and boomerang on you. And I get that you were hurt in this. Both of you all were hurt in this though, honestly. And, and that's what needs to be under, understood or understood. So there's an awakening happening. And... um. I feel like the awakening is like both of y'all are just kind of stopping your shit, you know, because it's become like a real petty tit for tat type of thing. And it's dumbing down this love. So how do they feel about y'all not speaking? They're very sad about it because to them, you're their other half They're I don't want to say other half because we're not halves, but you are their counterpart, right? There's a mirroring effect with you all. You it you don't need a lot of words. It's just understood. You know. You ain't got to speak on it when it's real. When you when it's real, then you know how I feel. Rocking on my bed, grinding on my bed, grinding on my bed. All I can think about. Yeah, Beyonce on the ass. So I think I think that everybody needs to just drop the egos and be real. You know, this person is really they they really get what they've done and their world um is pretty dark and grim right now. And yours ain't much different, so don't get it twisted. You ain't thriving out here. You sitting here under the moonlight with a cup. What is that? Wine in that cup? What you got in that cup? Right? So it's like both of you guys, again, are mirroring each other and projecting back. It's like y'all are playing ping pong with y'all emotions. And Cupid is stepping in with the awakening card. Like, come on, y'all got to shake out of this shit. Because together, the magic was pure. And it was great. And it assisted humanity. Just by you all being together, recognizing each other, loving one another, being that counterpart to the other there was a synergy that was created that it loomed way beyond you all this union and now as you all have moved into this darkness you know that dark side of it has come out and it's a very low braiding low low braiding low vibrating dark side so you guys got to elevate and get Within yourselves first to go out into the world again. But I think you both are feeling the same. Both your worlds are pretty grim right now. Both of you all are longing for each other and missing each other. Both of you all are like wanting to speak to the other one. But both of y'all are prideful. So what happens? That's why the goddess of the unknown is up there. What happens when somebody takes the first step? You wouldn't even be watching this if you weren't wondering, right? And it, and it could be both of you all are at a state where you don't know if you want to do this again because it, it just hurts so bad. You guys, you have the highest highs and the lowest lows. You have the ability to hurt each other very bad because you are the other. You see? 
So they don't feel good about not speaking to you. But I don't think either of you knows what where you want to take this relationship. There's an awareness, right? There's a remembrance, right? We have the awareness of the awakening, right? I do I do love this person. Cupid is waking you up. I do love this person. Right? And then you have Merlin and Vivian. Right? Another love affair. And together, we can abracadabra the shit out of life. And then you have the two of cups as the counterparts. In each lifetime, you guys have always been in each other's realm, sphere, some way, somehow. But what do I do? Who with this feeling? Who throw your love, sweet love? Love, what can I do? Yeah, y'all don't know what to do. Y'all don't know what to do. What do I do? We keep hurting each other. What the fuck? What do I do? I don't know. The goddess of the unknown don't know. You know. What you gonna do? Huh? Shit, let us know. Yeah, so neither one of y'all feels good about this no they don't feel good about not speaking to you they miss you and without you their world is barren it's dark and grim and without them yours is the same way so whew, we're gonna pull some more cards i'm gonna take a deeper dive into this solemn melancholy depressive shit y'all got going on here and then we're gonna ask do they think that you've moved on then we're gonna ask are they even trying to come towards you and then we're gonna pull some oracle cards okay so if you want to follow me the link is down below if not you ain't got to i appreciate you being with me thus far new deck alert new deck alert new deck alert goddess of oneness those of you who picked number three New deck, new deck. Bam, bam, bam. All right, universe. So, the people who chose the goddess of oneness, how does their person feel about them not speaking? People who chose goddess of oneness, how does their person feel about them not speaking? Please be as clear as possible with your messages with these big ass cards. Why does everybody keep making these cards so big? Whew. Can we stop making big cards, tarot card makers? Maybe I need to make my own tarot deck. Shit. All right. First card out. Page of Blades. Got the Page of Blades. First card out. New deck alert. New deck alert. Page of Blades. So, your person is watching you. It always feels like somebody's watching me. Your person is watching your every move. Every little step I take. People who chose the goddess of oneness. How do they feel? How does that person feel about not speaking to them? How does that person feel about not speaking to them, universe? Please be as clear as possible with your messages. How does that person feel about not speaking to them? How does your person feel about not speaking to you? Universe, people who chose. Goddess of oneness. How does that person feel about not speaking to you? Whoop, got it. Oh, the lovers. This is for the lover in you. The lover in you, babe, the lover in you. How does that person feel? How does that person feel about not speaking with them? And we got these two cards came out together one time and I put them back in. They just came out together again, so I'm taking them. Seven of Cups. And it's the same two cards and the emperor. With his handshake ass. Can I get a head ass? Handshake head ass. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the ace of coins. 
So this is quite interesting because your person is keeping an eye on you. They're watching you and they're watching you really explore the wonders of the world. They, they see you as being happy. So they're questioning things. They, they, okay. They see you as being happy and just like exploring new things. And I don't feel that they're doing the same. Um, they see you as fast moving. Um, and for them, this is like a hibernation period. Like they're hiding out, um, really kind of staying away from people, isolating themselves, even working on something though. They are absolutely working on something. They miss this connection. And I think that when you all first got together, there was some type of reasoning that was trying to emerge like you you or maybe them or both of you all were trying to reason with what type of love this was like trying to categorize it and not understanding if it was puppy love or what but now coming into the realization that it is very spiritual and it was divinely um divinely guided and it is kind of that not kind of, but that love that it's like, you're the only one for me, but, but that, that love comes with that. You can't make sense of it, which I understand why the goddess of oneness is here because there is very much a recognition of oneness with this, not a half coming to a half to make a whole, but a whole coming to a whole to illuminate this fucking world to death with light. Right? So I'm feeling as though to a certain extent, this person is manipulating this situation and, and even going through a transformation of sorts because this tattoo artist is drawing something that looks like the Grim Reaper, right? The tattoo that they're creating is like the Grim Reaper. And there's a snake down here and you know how I feel about snakes. Like that's all about the shedding of the skin. She has the moon earring. So there's something about their emotions that is eclipsed, something that you don't know about and something about the transition that they're going through right now where they're hibernating because they're shedding their skin. They're transforming right now and very well could be transforming into the emperor. Or you're seen as the emperor. Mm hmm. So. The ace of coins down here, working towards something, working towards building something, working towards building a foundation to hold this, this power of the emperor, you know, working towards becoming this emperor, transforming into becoming this emperor with that, um, this seven of cups card here, right? Having, having a lot of options before them, but really just sticking with, you know, she has all those colors down there to use, but she's just creating a very basic grim reaper, a very basic transformation. This is, this is a transformation of the soul that can be very dark. But it's no, no mud, no lotus. It's growing through the darkness into the light. And that's where the color comes in. And so this person is very focused right now on building um, a foundation and keeping an eye on you as they're building this foundation because they do see you as someone that they could grow old with. They do. So... This person is not, I mean, they like to speak to you, but there's not a lot of sadness here. This person is focused on building something, on creating something. And so that's where their attention is. So it it's hard to explain because they're just not losing sleep over not speaking to you. They are focused because they have a plan in place. And, but their plan does involve a lover's card. And they are keeping an eye on you. But I feel like this person knows that it, this ain't over. So that it's like, I, I don't feel bad for not speaking to them. We have things to do right now. 
And I think that this person can be very logical like that, right? Moving out of their heart space into their mind like, okay, we got, we got things to do to get our shit together. And this person is getting their shit together. Period. Yeah, so that's what I have for you. I'm dropping down to the extended now. If you want to go with me, link is down below. If not, you ain't got to. I get it. It's cool. All right, stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.